What's up everyone? This is Techman5150 here. And today I present to you Vacuum Cleaner Madness. Well, or should I say, it's just my whole collection of vacuum cleaners just sitting out here in the basement. But either way, there's an awful lot of them. There sure is a lot of machines here. So the last stream I did, I did talk about a lot of these vacuums. However, I didn't run all of them. Like I didn't run the Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe over there. I did not run the Bagless Bissell, and there were various other vacuums that I that I also did not run or show off. So this time I've got them all lined up here, and I'm going to run and vacuum with all of the vacuums. And this is going to be pretty crazy. Uh, the phone is ringing upstairs. I don't know who that is, but um, I'm not going to run upstairs and check. But anyways. All the vacuums. Now for this stream, I'm using a separate microphone. So you're probably going to see me be running back and forth to this voice box control over here to be turning up the volume and lowering it because unlike the camera, the microphone does not have automatic audio adjustment. I have to walk over there and turn up the volume for when I'm not in front of the microphone and when I'm away from it. However, I do need to open up stream on this other computer here. Well, I need to hear, I want to play the stream through the PA system for a second so I can hear how the audio sounds and how everything else is. You're going to get some echo back for like a brief moment while I listen. A brief moment while I listen. Okay. So we, okay. So the audio is good for if I'm right up against the microphone. Now, well, maybe I'll. I will just hang here for a few minutes and wait for some people to join and then I'll, and then I will, you know, get to talking about the vacuums and then run them all. I mean, this is madness. So as far as how many vacuums go, let's count them up. Well, the shark Sonic duo doesn't actually count, but we have a Hoover power scrub, which I have not shown on my channel before. Um, you know, I'll, I'm going to, I'll briefly talk about the vacuums while I'm at it. The Hoover Power Scrub I've actually had for a couple of years, and I've never actually shown it on my channel, nor have I made any videos with it. But we've actually had this carpet cleaner for a couple of years. But it's only been used a few times. The only reason that it's actually here is about a couple of years ago, we were on vacation for a week, and then I came home, and I noticed that the air handler over there, that black condensate pipe, you know, the A coil inside had overflowed with water. And it dumped water all over the basement and soaked the carpet literally everywhere. So in an emergency, I had to run out to Walmart and buy a carpet cleaner so I could suck up all the water because I did not have a good wet dry vac. So that's why there is a Hoover power scrub. Other than that, there's absolutely no carpet in this house. I liked your video. I think you are a professional at vacuums. My favorite video is the vacuum troll and keep them coming. I actually hate the vacuum trolling video. I acted like such, I mean, the, I mean, the comment was real, but I was kind of acting a little bit in the video. You know, that's not actually how I act a little bit. I was kind of putting on a bit of an act. The comment you saw though was real. You know, somebody actually did say not to, you know, to stop doing vacuum videos and do entertaining stuff, but I was kind of acting a little bit out in that video, but still, you know, face the power of the Bissell power force and eh. There's some moments that I thought was kind of cringy. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, so the 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 A coil inside where the um, you know, the air flows, that overflowed with water, you know, the condensate pipe got backed up with stuff and then it flooded our basement while we were gone. So that's why there is a carpet cleaner. There's actually no carpet in my house. My house is actually all hardwood laminate floors. The carpet that you see down here is actually the only carpet that's in this house. In fact, this pink carpet actually was salvaged from my mom's bedroom when we put the wood floors in. So this actually, this particular piece of carpet I'm standing on actually was underneath a bed for like 20 years. So that's why it's in such good shape. Anyways, but next to the Hoover Power Scrub, I already talked about this in the other stream I did, is the free Bissell Crosswave. Now, now, how I got this thing for free? Well, basically, I mean, I, I do work part-time at a vacuum store for now, and I guess someone had brought this 
Bissell Crosswipe did the vacuum store and they absolutely hated it. Didn't want it, so they kind of just brought it there and and basically, you know, left it there. The owner of the store doesn't work on these type of machines, so he gave it to me for free. The only problem with it was it was full of dirt and mud and grime inside. And when I took the dirt cup out, it smelled like your worst toilet bowl ever. Ugh. Yeah, that's basically how I, my first, you know, thoughts. And when I smelled that, I nearly puked. But, you know, I took it home. I sprayed the entire thing down with bleach. And then I ran ammonia through it a few times. And it's okay. It still has a little bit of that smell. So I don't actually use the Bissell solution. I just run ammonia through it. Because I haven't actually cleaned wood with this. I mainly use it on the tile upstairs. But, you know, for a free machine, that's like a $300 machine. The thing works and runs great. The next to it, we have the Kirby 560, which was given to me by my grandma. I am in the process of trying to fix it up a little bit. I put all, I replaced all the wheels. The wheels were originally gray, but they were cracked and falling apart. I replaced them with tan wheels because unfortunately you cannot get gray wheels for this anymore. And the fan inside is new and, you know, I put new bulbs and belt on this. However, it does need a new cord. The shakeout bag needs to be replaced. And, you know, the tow touch control is messed up and there's just a lot more things going else wrong with this vacuum. But the thing is, it's not so often you get handed a Kirby 560 in good running condition for free. In fact, there's probably not too many of these vacuums out there that run as good as this one does with its original bearings, assuming the bearings are original. Then next to it, we have, oh yes, my powerhouse, my Kirby Centria, the vacuum that I love, and it's just so satisfying to use it. Really, nothing's wrong with this. It's shiny, it sucks, it works, it does what I needed to do, and yeah. Then, ooh, what's this? A Dirt Devil. A Dirt Devil Vision Swivel Glide. Now, this actually wasn't my vacuum. It actually belonged to the bass player in my mom's band. But the thing was, he had brought it to me to fix it. And basically, the brush roll was nearly melted, seized. It was seized solid, almost melted. You know, the end caps had melted from stuff getting caught in them. And then the belt was broken. I did get a belt for it, but I, actually, I was able to save the brush roll. I took out the brush roll. And I filled the melted end cap with white lithium grease, and I was actually able I was actually able to free up this brush roll. The only thing is, is if you look underneath, you can see that the grill is all the grill's all busted out here. I did try to get a new brush roll for this, but you know, the owner at the vacuum store says that you actually can't get the brush roll for this anymore. At least he can't get the brush roll. There are probably websites that sell aftermarket brush rolls. In fact, I did see one online somewhere, but it was like almost $30 for a brush roll. And for a vacuum that I'm probably hardly ever going to use, for me, it's not worth putting the money into it. But it does run and it does vacuum. I just can't run it for too long because I don't want that brush roll to get hot and melt and seize up on me. Now, here are two Bissell Power Force 3522s. Now, this one, the one on the, this one, this one is the one you've seen in my past videos, like the vacuum trolling and the one where I compared it against the other Bissell and the Dyson and the Electrolux with shredded paper. However, this has a broken base. Let me see. Whoops. Ah, Static. Microphone static, possibly. Anyways, this has a busted base here. You're going to get an upside down shot. Yeah, if you look here, if the camera will focus. Come on, get out of the way, all these wires. Yeah, but yeah, right there, the plastic broke that holds the adjustable wheels in place, and the adjustable wheels are split in the middle. I did try to glue the piece back on, but the glue just never seemed to hold, and the only way to fix that would be to get a base from another working power force. But I did get this other power force from another vacuum store for free as a challenge to possibly getting hired at this said vacuum store. Basically, he basically said, you can have this vacuum for free. Just take it home, clean it up, and take parts off the other Bissell and make this look like a new machine and run good. And I did exactly that. It's shiny, and it runs great, and it works great. But he decided not to hire me, even though I spent hours upon hours taking this apart, washing everything, you know, and making sure it worked. I actually gutted out the brush roll on this one. I took its rod and end cap and bearings off, and I stuck it on this one because the brush roll that was originally in this one had broken end caps and noisy bearings. Though it, it did still work like that, 
you know, I wasn't going to have a busted brush roll inside a, a vacuum or inside a good Bissell. So I just gutted out the brush roll and stuck the guts from the brush roll into this one. So this Bissell is pretty much a parts Bissell. It's, I'm, I put it into retirement. I don't use it anymore, though it does run. And I actually took, I took the handle off this one and put it on this one because this one has scuffs all over the place. And this handle is in, you know, it's marked up, but it's in better shape. Then there's Bissell Power Force Bagless. I think it's a six, seven, uh, I forgot the model number. It's a, it's a six, what is it? It's a six, five, seven, nine, dash two. Just trying to, I couldn't remember the model there for a second. But a few months ago, I took apart this Bissell Power Force Bagless and refurbished it a little bit, cleaned out its brush roll, cleaned up the base, put a new belt in it. And this thing runs fine. No problems whatsoever. Then now here is a Dyson DC-07 full kit, which I bought this off of the guy that I clean oil furnaces with in the fall. He basically, they he got a Kirby Century A2 secondhand and didn't really need this Dyson anymore. The, he it basically, it had no suction and he was just, you know, the thing just wasn't working right. So I bought it off of him for $15 and then I had to buy a wand latch for it. So $25 and I got a perfectly good working DC-07 full kit. Now this purple DC-07 is actually the replacement for the Dyson DC-07 animal. This I've said in the past, it is, it is on its way to breaking in half. In fact, on the back of its spine, there's already a few cracks. So within time, this vacuum is going to snap in half. However, I don't want it to snap in half because it still has a good motor, still has a good cyclone because that's a replacement. You know, the hose is good. The wand is good. There's still a lot of good parts on this vacuum that I don't want to get destroyed if the thing were to snap in half. So this Dyson DC-07 animal I, is also put into retirement. And then there's Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe, which it's been running fine ever since, you know, I did that unboxing video. No problems really to report. Now the Electrolux Epic 6500 SR. This I'm slowly starting to put some parts into. First thing you'll notice is that I replaced the button in the wand latch. It has a white button now because if you remember, that was duct taped and the hose had duct tape all over it. So I got another hose for it. This is a used aftermarket hose. It's not the right color, as you can tell, but it does work. Now, the wheels on the power nozzle are still held in by duct tape because I don't think you can get that plastic piece anymore, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, the Electrolux runs okay, but the, it is starting to have motor bearing problems. But, you know, until the thing is completely dead, you know, I'll still use it occasionally. And then there's two Bissell 3 on stick vacs. Now, the older one, actually, my stepdad got that for free from the place he works at, but it has issues. The motor sounds like it's starting to have problems, and the wheels on the base are totally broken and falling apart. You try to vacuum with it, and they press up against the side, and the thing just, it, it's just hardly usable anymore. So we went to Walmart and bought another Bissell 3 in 1, and they, and they work great. Bissell 3 in 1s really, I actually think, are great vacuums for if you live in a small apartment and you don't have a lot of carpet and it's all wood. Bissell 3 in 1s are pretty good vacuums. You know, but they're not good for high pile carpets or anything like that. But if you have a small apartment or just a little, you know, wood floors, you can get by with a Bissell 3 in 1. And yeah, but now it's time to get the madness started. I am going to run every one of these vacuum cleaners that you see here. Yeah, they are lined up like bowling pins. But anyways, I'm going to run every single one of these vacuum cleaners I'm going to run. Now, now, I mean, I guess I could go in order here. I think I will do all the vacuums first, and then I'll do the floor cleaners. So, now I'm using a separate microphone here. So I am going to have to put it on this tri on the uh, stand and boost the volume up a little bit. So if you think it's too loud or it's too quiet once I've stepped away... Just say something in the chat and I will either lower it or turn it up as necessary. So anyways, okay. I actually do need to put the microphone down. I'm going to boost its volume up a little bit. So let's see. What is this thing set at here? Let's go up to... Uh, I'm going to go up to 50 and back away a little bit. So I've... 
I'm nowhere near the, I'm, now I'm away from the microphone. So how does that sound? Does my voice sound okay? So into the tripod you are. Can anybody hear me? Do I have to turn it up or do I have to turn it down? tripod into position. Okay, so now it's time to get this madness started. Like I said, there's 15, machi 15 machines down here. And they're all going to get ran briefly for a second so you can hear how they all run. So this is where, this is where the madness begins. Okay, so now that the camera is positioned, I think I want it here. It's time to go crazy. I think I'll do all the vacuums first and then I'll do the cleaners, the floor cleaners. Get some of these wires out of here. Let's this up a little bit. I think I am going to boost this up. It's a, it, the volume is at 50. I'm going to go up to 65. Of course, if I start screaming out, it's going to be, I'm, it's not going to be so good on your speakers. Madness, this is back. Why is that held for review? I approve of that comment. Okay, so anyways, well, let's just start let's just i'm not going to go in i'm just going to go down the line that i have in here so that means i'm going to start off with good old kirby 560. and if the microphone needs to be adjusted say something in chat I have two bag power forces because one is for parts and the other one is restored. Okay, here comes the Kirby Sentry. Uh, my favorite vacuum, but also the most heaviest and cumbersome to use. Like I said, I manually have to adjust the volume on this microphone. So if it's too loud or too quiet or you can't hear the vacuum, say something in chat and I'll either boost it or lower the microphone.
Yeah, there's my beloved Centria that I love so much. And hi, Blur Wolf. I see, I see your message now. I cannot see chat when I'm using a vacuum. So if you said something, you'd have to wait for me to respond. Okay, so now next to the Kirby Centria is the Dirt Devil Vision Swivel Glide with a melted brush roll, but it does still run. So I will run it, but not too long. The cord has also seen better days on this too. It's all, I do electric tape it. What is your favorite vacuum? I mean, the thing is, as much as I love my Kirby Centria, I can't say that it's my favorite vacuum. It's really heavy. And when it comes to putting the hose on and swapping, that can be a, little bit of a nuisance too. As far as a favorite vacuum, I don't know. I'm kind of steering more towards the Electrolux that's behind me just because it's a canister and you can get underneath furniture. But when it comes to deep down carpet cleaning, I do love the Kirby because the Kirby will deep clean better than probably a lot of vacuums out there. But the thing with Kirby's, they're extremely heavy and a lot of people hate them. Oh, this Kirby's too heavy. Oh, I hate it. I hate carrying it up and downstairs. You know, that's the most common complaint with Kirby's. But if you can get past the heaviness factor of a Kirby, they're probably one of the best vacuums out there. Maybe besides a SIBO. SIBOs are also fantastic vacuums, too. But anyways, Dirt Double Vision Swivel Glide. Here we go. That's all I can run the dirt double for because it has a melted brush roll. I don't want it to get heat up and melt further. Even though I did lithium grease the heck out of it in order to save the brush roll. So now I got to set this one aside. It, well, I mean, this is what the brush roll itself looks like. I mean, you can tell the grill is all busted out on this vacuum too. The problem is the end cap on the side you know, farthest away from the motor, the end cap is all melted inside. And the thing was hardly turning at all when it was, when I first got it in order to fix it. So what I did was I, I took apart the end cap and I just filled it in with white lithium grease to put oil on the bearings. And I was able to unseize the brush roll and make it spin. As you can tell, it doesn't sound bad at all, but I'm sure that if I ran this vacuum for an extended period of time, the brush roll might get hot, melt more, and then just totally seize up. So, you know, I'm not going to be running that, you know, it's not like I'm going to be using this on a daily basis. But anyways, this is the bag 3522 that I used for parts to restore this other 3522. It does still run in vacuum, but, you know, it's not the most perfect running 3522. The motor is still good on it, though, so I'm not going to get rid of it. But anyways, here is how, what it sounds like. <laughs> You know, considering the brush roll has broken, the, considering that I put the uh, broken brush roll end caps and the uh, noisier bearings into this one, it actually doesn't sound that bad. Considering that its base is broken apart and so are the height adjustment wheels, it actually does still vacuum relatively well. But now it's time for the 3522 that I refurbished. <laughs>
Chase the power of the Vistal Power Force. I, I, I just referenced my back controlling video. Face the power of the Vistal Power Force. I actually really do like that vacuum, though. Considering, you know, back in the day, it was, it was a cheap, you know, you know, cheap vacuum. It actually, it has good, it, it actually does have good suction. It's got good agitation. And overall, for a cheap budget vacuum cleaner, these things were really good back in the day. They have a lot of power. Okay. Now we're on to bagless power force. Six by seven nine dash two. As you can tell that vacuum that vacuum runs pretty well too. That one I also restored. Now here is the Dyson DC07 full kit. Now the thing with this Dyson is you will notice it's supposed to have a blue cyclone, a blue a turquoise and purple cyclone, but unfortunately it doesn't have that anymore. Probably the owners before me who had this vacuum probably broke the cyclone and then they took it to the vacuum store and they put this on. But this, this actually did have a new clutch put in it like two or three years ago. So the clutch on this is actually in fantastic shape. Brush roll is not so great, though, because if, if you look at it, if you look at this, you can see that, you know, some of the bristles are like falling apart on this. Yeah, the brush roll is not in the best shape, but it works. Now, I got to stop doing this before I end up killing my back. <laughs> Enough lift and vacuums. Anyways, let's hear the full kit run. Yeah, this full kit actually runs great. I'm actually very happy with it. I'm not the biggest, I'm not a Dyson person by any means, and I really hate those Dyson balls. I but I do like these older Dysons though. You know, these older Dysons were pretty good back in the day. I'm not gonna say they're the greatest vacuums ever made, but you know, for what you paid for back then, they were okay. Now I am going to run the uh retired animal. Now, don't be surprised if it snaps in half on me, but let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I did take apart the clutch a few years ago and th threw belts in it, but the clutch on this thing is worn out. In fact, the brush roll won't even spin automatically when I lower the head. I actually have to nudge this knob ever so slightly to make the brush spin. But anyways, let's hear it. Let's, let's vacuum with it.
I actually had trouble lifting it up there for a second. The plastic was catching on itself. Now, what's now the, the thing between these vacuums, which I'm not sure about, and it might be due to the fact that this still has the original, the uh, the old, the animal has the original HEPA filter, and the full kit's probably had its HEPA filter replaced, is that the purple full kit has far more suction than the 07. So, so I'm going to swap the cyclone so you can hear what I mean. So listen to the uh, 07 animal. Now I'm going to take the cyclone off that and put it on the full kit. Now, like I said before, this might have less suction due to the fact that it has the original HEPA filter. But the thing is, the plastic is so brittle on the animal. If I try to take this cover off, it's most likely going to break apart on me. So even if I wanted to, I can't change the HEPA filter on this, even though I do have a filter for it lying around. Oh, well, I'm not messing with it because you can hear it might be it might break in half at some point. But the thing is, it runs good and it, it does still work. So that's why it's put into retirement, so I can preserve the parts on it. So we're getting to the end here of the vacuums. Here comes the Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe. The Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe. Now this is a great vacuum too. Just keep note that you can't get parts for Shark. So if anything on this broken, I'm pretty much out of luck. But anyways, let's hear it run. Dirt cup was not all the way. <laughs> now this is how it's supposed to sound. There is Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe. Still runs good. But I also take very good care of this vacuum. I make sure the filters are clean, and that's about it. Now, the Electrolux. Oh, yeah, the Electrolux. The Beast. The Canister Beast. Hello, Corey Anderson. But like I said, this is starting to have some motor bearing issues, so I'll put it close to the mic so you can hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's starting to show signs of wear. But it's not the worst sounding Electrolux I've ever heard either. Anyways, let's hear the head run.
Okay, that is the Electrolux Epic 6500 SR, or 6500 or whatever. Now, I got two, I got two Bissell 3 and one stick backs. Now, this one, the motor's starting to go in. Yeah, I mean, it still runs okay, but the wheels on this are totally worn out. I mean, look at this. There's so much play in them. Okay. Yeah, it's all... You literally vacuum, and it's like and it's like this the whole time as you're trying to vacuum. It's ridiculous. It's totally worn out. So, that's why we have the new one over here. So here's the replacement stick back. So, I just ran all my vacuums. Let me line them up here, though. Get, let me line them. Let me reline some of them up, though. Because for those of you who've seen, you probably missed the part where I actually showed off all the vacuums. So, let me reline up some of them. So, I ran, I ran all the vacuum cleaners. Now it's time to run the three floor cleaners. And let me see if I can pan the camera over here. So yeah, for those who are just joined, I just ran all these vac. I just ran all these vacuums. Yeah, there's the Electrolux, the two Bissell stickbacks. The shark, the shark Navigator Lift Away Deluxe, the two Dyson DC07s, the three, the Bissell Trio, the Dirt Devil, and my two Kirby's. But now I'm going to run the three floor cleaners. There's a Shark Sonic Duo, a Hoover Power Scrub, and a Bissell Crossway. I'm going to run those too. And so we got to reposition this. So, what shall I run first for carpet cleaners in game, uh, High Gamer 6472? I think I'll run the Beast. Yeah, I've never actually showed this one off on my channel before. The Hoover Power Scrub. And the only reason it was bought was because our, 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 our air conditioning flooded the basement while we were on vacation and needed something to suck the water up. Other than that, this thing has hardly ever been used. And I've had it for about maybe two years. So here's how it sounds.
Yeah. Maybe one of these days I actually will try to shampoo the carpet with it because I've never, I've never actually shampooed a carpet with this. I've cleaned maybe the rugs upstairs that are by the doors, but I've never actually shampooed a full rug. So maybe that's something I'll have to save for another day. Now, here's a Bissell Crosswave over here. hear this run. There you go. This will cross wave. Now there's one more machine left here, and that is the Shark Sonic Duo. Now Okay, I have the Shark Sonic Duo. Now let's hear it run. Now this is actually not a vacuum. It's just a floor scrubber, but it is a cleaner nevertheless. So let's hear it. And it's swivel and it's very swivelly. <laughs> doing the shark dance, doing the shark dance, doing the shark dance. And that's it. I ran all 15 of the machines. Now I'm going to have to clean up this mess. Boy, do I have a lot of vacuum cleaners to wrap up and put away now. So I'll, get, I'll pan around once more before I... lower my microphone because I'm going to pick it up. Back down to 20. And I'll pan around just so you can see these vacuums one more time and then I'm going to end this stream and because it's getting close to it's almost dinner time so here they all are.
And I think that'll do it for this stream for today. So I thank you all for coming out and watching. And and please make sure you like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you all again in either my next video or stream or whatever I decide to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.